Hello, my name is Ryan Gottfordson, and I am currently working as a consultant for Gallup and on leave for my position as assistant professor at Cal State Fullerton. And I am Herman Aguinas from the George Washington University School of Business, and we're just delighted to have this conversation with you about our article in the Journal of Organizational Behavior uh, on leadership behaviors and follower performance. As you will see in our article, it took us quite a bit of time to conduct this research. We used a rather massive data set, specifically 35 meta-analyses with about 3,300 primary level studies and 900,000 observations. You might be, might be wondering why we had to use such a massive data set. And the reason is that we explored an issue that has been ongoing uh, for decades, which is what are the underlying processes that connect leadership, beha leadership behaviors with follower performance? In other words, why do positive leadership behaviors result in improved follower performance? An answer to such an important question required a rather massive data set. So a primary motivation for this study came after an observation that leadership scholars have inconsistently used a variety of theories and explanations for why leadership behaviors lead to follower performance. For example, a recent review of the last 15 years of transformational leadership research found that there were 12 proposed mediators explaining the relationship between transformational leadership and a performance outcome. Also in our review, we found eight different mediators spanning four different theories that explain the relationship between contingent rewards and follower performance. These examples suggest to us that while we know leadership behaviors lead to increases in follower performance, we don't have a clear explanation for why. So our task in this study was not to propose additional explanations. We have plenty. Rather, our task was to understand which is the best possible explanation among all of those that have already been proposed. Thus, we assessed which of, the many, which of the many mediating mechanisms are the best explanations for the relationships between leadership behaviors and outcomes across four different leadership behaviors. So we looked at consideration, initiating structure, contingent rewards, transformational leadership, and, and connected those to two different types of follower performance, task performance and organizational citizenship behaviors. So, if you think about the ongoing debate about so many theories about why leadership behaviors lead to follower performance and so many competing explanations, obviously one single primary level study would not resolve this controversy in terms of which theory is a better explanation than which other theory. So we needed a more powerful methodological approach involving a lot of data so we required external validity, and we did so by uh, gathering data based on 35 different meta-analyses, as I said earlier. And then we use the data from the meta-analyses as input into structural equation modeling. So we use meta-analytic structural equation modeling, which is a very powerful technique because meta-analysis allowed us to maximize external validity. In other words, we collected all of the available data on the relationship between leadership behavior and follower performance and the underlying mechanisms. And on the other hand, we used structure question modeling with the meta-analytic data to test competing models against each other to see which of those models fits the data best. And so what we did is we looked at all of the different mediators that have been proposed as an explanation for the link between leadership behavior and performance to try to understand which of those mediators has the biggest effect based on all of the available data. So when we initially did this, we really didn't have anything in mind with regards to would there be a consistent mediating mechanism that explained the relationship between these different leader behaviors and follower performance. So it came a little bit as a surprise to us when we started getting into the analyses that we were finding consistent results across the different leadership behaviors and outcomes that we were studying. And what we found is we kind of put together this racehorse of which of the mediating mechanisms are the best explanations between leader behaviors and follower performance. We found that the best explanation is leader member exchange or the perceptions of followers regarding the quality of their relationship with their leaders. 
Um, and, and so to me, this was kind of shocking, but it also tells a really interesting story. The, the interesting thing also about our paper is when you think about it from a commonsensical perspective, why do followers perform better as a response to leadership behaviors? And the answer is when they perceive they have a very good relationship with their leaders. In retrospect, it makes sense and it sounds like commonsensical, but only after we conducted the analyses with all the competing mediators, because before we did our analysis and obtain our results, uh, there are many, many different explanations for that, uh, for that relationship. And what is the implication in terms of theory? Well, we have many explanations for that relationship that maybe we shouldn't pursue anymore in terms of mediators that have very small effects. On the other hand, LMX is a very strong uh, mediator, the strongest across all of the models. So that is a, is a future avenue for research that we should explore further. Obviously, for practice, if you're a leader, you want to create a good relationship with your followers. More specifically, you want to make sure your followers believe and perceive they have a very good relationship with you. When you do that, they will perform at their best. So maybe to even summarize in addition to that is I think that we wanted this and our results moving forward to bring added precision to the current theories that are going on within leadership research to rather than having an unwieldy amount of answers or response to the question of what's the best explanation between leader behaviors and follower performance. Uh, we've now limited that limited that down. So we hope that you'll find our results informative and useful in terms of how we think about leadership effectiveness. And also, I, I think we hope that our use of meta-analytic structural equation modeling um, can be used in your research in, in different topics and areas that you conduct research with. We have so many theories in management and related fields right now, so many explanations for, us, for the same phenomenon. And every time we see a study, all of these studies show support for those explanations. Every explanation and theory seems to be somewhat right. So the approach we used in our paper was different, was not to show just that our proposed or preferred theory is right, but try to rule out the ones that do not fit the data well. And I think that same approach can be used in many other domains uh, in terms of performance, organizational behavior theories, but also human resource theories, as well as strategy theories. And we're just uh, delighted that you have an interest in our paper, that you took some time to listen and watch this video. We'll be delighted to hear from you and feel free to send us an email if you have any questions or would like to discuss our paper further. Thank you very much. Thanks.